Hi guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. On this episode today, uh, we're going to continue to work on the blazer. Uh, at one point it dies. Hopefully we can get it running and figure out what's going on with it. So I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so Ed's out here working under, under the shade tree today. So I guess he's a uh, shade tree mechanic today. Um, but he lost spark on this thing after he drove it out here and uh, discovered that there's a wire loose in the distributor so he's working on that and then also it wasn't charging um, and if you uh, remember yesterday that thing was getting hot which you know basically says it doesn't have a good connection so he's been you know he's going to work on that and get that cleaned up uh, but we got gas in it so that's not an issue and then he doesn't have a wire for the electric choke yet so he's just uh, putting some voltage to that so the choke opens up so he can uh, do the tune-up on it so there's a lot of different things going on out here and uh, so I'm sure he'll get them all taken care of he's not connected he's trying to figure out what the loose connection is in the distributor and if he wiggles the wire that goes into the distributor he's he's lost spark so he's kind of taking it apart right now to figure out what it is that's giving him the issue. Huh. You know, I think this cap, this, I'm sure this is from China. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I would wiggle this and I'd lose spark. But I was trying to hook the tack up. I think I'm going to adjust it by, uh, by vacuum. I'm going to see if I got spark right now. Could you put that positive out back on? If my battery's not too low. And actually, if it does start, if you could check and see if I'm charging. Okay. So I got my spark tester down there to make sure I have spark. See that? Oh, you did, it just died? I, ta I tapped the wire. Hmm. Yeah, it was charging. You had, it was, it uh, was? 13 something. Just as it was going to settle down, it uh, died. Yeah, the battery is just a pinch low. Like 13.4, 13.5.
You know you got the vacuum advanced on? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm set up a little high, too. All right. My idle's a little high. Yeah. right there. You're teetering between 13.5 and 13.6 right now. Well, it's charging. Yeah. It's got a miss, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Yeah, now the idle's too low. It won't yeah, stay well, running. But I had it down. That's what I don't understand. Unless something's sticking in here, because I got this in here. But you saw it. The idle, the idle was way too high. I opened mm -hmm. the choke all the way. Mm -hmm. And it was still too high. Now, it, now it's, it's too low. Unless something, was something that in there sticking. But it seems like when it really warms up is when it happens. After it starts, like yeah. right now, you're at 13.1, 13.2. So you still don't have a good connection or something right. still going on there. Hey, Jake. What's up? I had it running, so I'm going to let it cool off and see what happens. Something, something ain't right. Missing? Yeah, it started like... missing. But you know, I got a Chinese distributor in there. And I wiggle the wire. Did you disinfect that thing? Yeah, really. I've had it for a year. It's twisted up a couple times. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's factory. Yeah. I gotta find out where, where it goes to. But they cut it out of the... It comes actually out of the loom. Pretty sure they use wire nuts at the factory too. Yeah. Phones ringing. I'm wondering. I'm gonna take a break. All right. So this thing still got that miss. Ed's gonna go ahead and pull it in and uh, continue to work on it in there. It's getting close to the end of the day, so. Uh, we'll get it put up. You know, the plugs, too, they look... Although I probably put them in how many years ago. Yeah. What I did is I ran another uh, hot wire. Uh-huh. To, uh... That's my distributor hot now. Yeah. Because <laughs> that other one was... You know what else is just, it's bizarre. Here's the reason I think. This thing's idling super high, but I have, I'm down on the idle here. Uh-huh. Um, and when it really, if something happens and it just the idle drops massively, but yet my cho my choke's been on the whole time, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Is it that Chinese distributor? I'm going to pull the plugs and see what I got. I might yeah. stick off. A thing on every wire and see if one of them's yeah. not firing properly. Yeah. Just don't get this in the fan. Thing wants to uh, turn it. There we go. Oh, hold on. That other end came off. 
Will it reach right there? Oh. Alright. Alright, that should be good. It doesn't look like anything's in the fan, so. When we get any, the only way to shut it off would take that hot off. Alright. Yeah, all right. I, it's something in the suspension. I don't know what, but. smooth right this second. It's definitely coming back now. Vacuum leak somewhere? Right here, it almost sounds like it. Yeah. I think what I could do is maybe close both this and that, and if I'll get a little, and if I have to, I'll tape them up. Right. But it should give me, even if it leaks a little, it should give me a clue of where it's leaking. Right. And you should be able to see it somewhere else right. as well. All right, guys, what we're going to do on this, we think there's a vacuum leak somewhere that's causing this to not run properly. So we're going to use our smoker. And basically, what that is, is we're going to fill the engine with smoke. <laughs> that ain't good. Uh, we're going to fill the engine with smoke and find out if, if we get any smoke coming out of anywhere where it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's going to wrap it up for another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Thank you to all the new subscribers I've been getting. And stay tuned next time. We'll keep working on the Blazer. Oops. Got an ant crawling up my arm. <laughs>